Hello. Today we're going to do a repair on a Bosch oven, which is an HB64B. The problem with this one is its door is broken. The inner glass down here. Um, a common problem with these ovens is the, the glass shatters with the, the self-cleaning feature. But that doesn't seem to be what's happened here. I think something's got trapped in there and then they've shut the door and it's gone and crack the glass so okay first thing we do is these hinges quite dangerous so be careful they've got a latch on them so we lock them in the open position that means it's safe to take the door off and to hold it by both sides close it almost and when it's at this sort of point it should just pop off See here, there's the broken door where the glass has been cracked, and that's the part we're going to be replacing. To keep everything safe, we've put it on a, um, this fleecy blanket, but you could use a towel or whatever. Just um, remember it's glass on glass, so it's got to be make sure it doesn't scratch it. And this is the replacement door. I mean, quoted anything from 150 to 300 for this piece of glass. I managed to pick this one up for 145. It's a genuine Bosch part. Basically, if you do anything wrong, it'll introduce tiny fishes in the glass, which make it weak. And then when you use this self-cleaning feature, it'll cause the, the glass to crack. I don't think that's what happened to this piece, but I'll replace it anyway because you can see that piece there looks just the same as our replacement here this one came with new fixing pads so I'll go ahead and show you how to replace the glass on there okay so the first thing we're going to do is turn the door upside down this is the, the bottom hinge so I'm going to turn it over so we can see the top edge as you can see here, it's got some torque screws on either end. That's what we're going to take off first. Okay, so this is the top edge of the door. And the first thing we're going to do is remove these torque screws, one on either side. To do this, we have a T20. Okay, and that should let us just pull this piece off. The next step is to remove these rubber seals. One and two. Well, now according to Bosch, this inner glass should just slide up easily, but because this one's broken, you might have to be a bit more careful with it. So. Lift off the dead piece and slide up the broken piece and it should just, yeah, just comes out. Gives you a chance to clean it before we fit the new piece. Okay, the next step is to remove the two retaining clips on the side of the other piece of glass. And we use the same T20 hex bit for that. That allows you to lift this piece of glass off. Carefully remove the retaining clips. And you have to be careful with this because it's got pieces of the broken glass on from the other piece. And this is the, uh, the seal, which also has broken glass on it. So now we can clean all this before we fit the new piece and put it back together okay so we lift this piece out this is a, a lower heat seal we take that off carefully yeah gives us an opportunity to clean this there's all bits of broken glass bits of dog hair 
various detritus. Okay, this would be a good time to clean uh, the metal, it's stainless steel, so anything that could work well with stainless steel would go well here. And uh, this, the glass, <clears throat> do with a wipe as well. Nothing abrasive, and that could do with a wipe down inside too. Just a soft damp cloth for that one, I think. Right, we're going to start putting this back together. Each piece of glass has a text on it. That should be that way up. To line up with this edge. And this also has the text on it right above. Okay, the first sheet to go back in is the completely clear one. It goes in between those two lugs and underneath that one there. And slots into place. So underneath that one underneath that one and up against this next sheet with the same alignment goes in that goes on top of that one on top of that one underneath that one and resting on the shelf and that's the inner glass back in place you can see the text lines up on both of those pieces of glass with that top edge and we fasten the upper clips back on. Let's just lift that piece of glass up. And put it down over that hole there. And the same on this side. With the two lugs to the top. That just holds that steady. And that screws back in with the black Torx screw. to go on is the heat seal which has two rubber lugs on it and those lugs fit down there a little bit of a stretch to clip it on but it should line up nicely with the bottom of the glass and finally the replacement door goes in pointy side down bulge side up and that hooks into these little pieces at the bottom. And that has two little rubber, what do you call those things? And they go on there just to protect it from the other metal. And that's it. Thanks to the dog for that round of applause. Okay, so the last thing to do is just put this metal clip back on. Make sure it covers that rubber seal that we've just put on. A bit of a tight squeeze. But it should click nicely into place. And that just leaves these last screws to fasten back up. nice and secure then all that's left is to click it back on and these hinges have a little notch cut out of them and that goes on each side of the door it's quite heavy and they both have to be in together those hinge locks back in place. Just snap shut. Yep. Placed oven door. Thank you, Zoo. <laughs> 
What are these two like? 